great, great matchup. Well, just even watching the warm-ups, you realize that every uh, both these teams are loaded. They both can shoot the basketball. Uh, we, you and I had a chance to talk to both coaching staffs before the game, and, and, they, and they both said the same thing, which is, you know, both of our teams kind of mirror one another, and so uh, we're going to stick to what we do best, and this is both teams talking. Um, and so it's going to be fun to watch. This is the open division, and... These girls can, you know, every one of these girls can play at a high level. We just watched the Division I uh, championship, and that looked like a track meet at times, how fast those girls were. And so nothing new here. We're going we're gonna to watch high-level basketball. Buckle up. Should be a really good one. Both these teams are, are loaded. They have great tradition in these programs. The San Ramon Valley Wolves fell in this open championship game last year to Salesian, the team we just saw win a Division I title. It's their third consecutive year in the NCS Open Division uh, title game. Losses to Crondelet and Salesian over the last two years. As for, they're looking for their third all-time NCS championship, winning the Division I title in 2006 and in 2020. Cardinal Newman's had a great run under head coach Monica Myrtle. They won the 2017 NCS Division IV Championship. They also won the state championship that same season. They've won 23 or more games for 10 consecutive seasons. You see right there the San Ramon Valley coach John Cristiano uh, shaking the hands of the Cardinal Newman players. Cristiano's done a terrific job at the helm of San Ramon Valley. They were 6-20 and 20 before Cristiano took over at San Ramon Valley. All he did go is go 14 and 12 in his first season, and overall 187 wins and just 39 losses and 827 winning percentage. Monica Myrtle took over at Cardinal Newman, and she's done nothing but win. They've won 10 straight North Bay League championships. She's in her 12th season. She's won 295 games and lost 80 a 787 winning percentage. So these two programs. As you'd expect, with their success, well coached, well ran, and something the coaches are kind of saying their their teams are smart enough. Something you talked about before, the basketball IQ of these players that uh, they can kind of coach themselves. Is that's how good these teams are? You know, San Ramon uh, used to really, you know, have trouble with Crondelet, and then now San Ramon is uh, giving Crondelet trouble. So it's a uh, it's going to be interesting to watch. The, you know, number 12 for uh, Cardinal Newman is, uh, I think we heard she's got 20 uh, offer, Division One offers right now or more. So she's a Power 5 player. And so San Ramon's going to have to watch her and make sure she doesn't go crazy to start off this game. We'll keep it right here for the National Anthem. ready to go these two awesome teams ceremony valley 28 and 1 they won the east bay athletic league championship as we mentioned before ranked 11th in the state by cal high sports and scorebook live they've won 26 consecutive games entering this one in the ncs open division championship game for the third consecutive year cardinal newman fourth in the state by scorebook live six by cal high sports 27 and 2 they won the north bay league championship for the 10th straight time they played in the ncs open division all four years they have not won an open championship yet. They lost the 2020 championship game against St. Joseph Notre Dame, made it to the quarterfinals in 2022. And last year, they fell in the semifinals to this San Ramon Valley team, 49-41, in a tightly contested game that was tied at the half. Opening tip will be jumped up between Tisa Kiros and for San Ramon Valley, it is Avery Knapp. The 6'1 senior, Ceremon Valley wearing the white unis with the 
green numbering and the gold outlining. Cardinal Newman in the red jerseys with the white numbering. And gold outlining, and we are underway. So the tip was going to go to San Ramon Valley to start as it goes out of bounds. Wolves basketball. We've got Amanda Kerner, Sierra Chambers on the floor, along with Knapp. Sophia Bowes, the 5'10 senior up top, a three by Kerner's off the mark. A rebound underneath by Knapp. Knapp puts it up strong, can't get the fall, gets another rebound, misses it again. And the loose ball, Kiro's trying to pull it away, and she does. So here's Cardinal Newman on their first possession of the game. Far right side for the Cardinals, Leah Martinez steps in along the baseline. She will find Keita Angelo. Angelo's gonna take the open three and hit. Nice shot. Keita Angelo, the 5'9 senior, gets Cardinal Newman on the board. Loose ball on the floor. Everybody kind of looked at it for a moment. Picked up by the Wolves and Amanda Kerner. The Wolves, the top seed. That's why they are in the home unis. Cardinal Newman, the number two seed. And a good pass in the back door. And flipping it up and in is Tara Chen. First points of the game for Saramon Valley. A 5'4 senior gets on the board. Kate Schott, 5'8 junior for Cardinal Newman. Steps to the elbow and hits. Wow, that is... Uh... That's a high level move and a nice finish. Good shooting for Cardinal Newman to start. The Cardinals in front by three. Great action here at Dublin High School. The second of three championship games today. Going right to the hoop and flipping it up and in is Tara Chen, her second bucket. Tara Chen is shifty. I like that move, getting to the rim. She's got all four of the Wolves points. Up top for Cardinal Newman is shot. Her pass taken away. Sophia Bowes gets it taken right back by Kiros. Left side, corner three, Leah Martinez can't get the bounce. Rebound pulled in by the Wolves and Amanda Kerner. Back and forth we go. Wolves looking for the lead. Good pump fake, but actually that's a travel. Uh, shuffle in the feet was Bose. Bose is just getting the kinks out. Sometimes when you start these big games, you got some nerves. And so you got to control your heart rate and get into the game. These teams well experienced in this North Coast section. Open division, the fourth year of the open division in the NCS. Up top for Cardinal Newman, Janelle.
first personal first team foul. Bulls ball. Karen Shin. Assist Amanda Kerner. Three point basket by Kate Shot. Hey, 
shot.
Your chambers shooting two. We got Amanda Kerner shooting. One shot remaining. Lisa Flores in for Carl Newman.
first team foul.
Foul on Leanne Morrison. That's her third personal, 14 foul. <laughs> Macy Flores back in for Cardinal Newman. Shannon on the line, shooting one. 
Sakuras. Jump ball, possession arrow. Lock up, lock up, stay connected. Oh! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! Diaz! 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 Diaz!
Number one, Macy Flores. Number three, Kate Blanchard. Number four, Kata Angelo. Number five, Leah Martinez. Number ten, Beauty Solomon. Number twelve, Tisa Kiros. Number twenty, Avery Vinson. Number twenty-one, Leah Moritzson. Number 22, Lexi Aguiar. Number 24, Janelle Pena. Number 25, Jordan Johnson. Number 30, Kate Schatz. Number 34, Natalie Rossetti. Number 44, Tejana Paletti. And now we're seeing the championship pennants and plaque is the head coach of Carmel Newman High School, Monica Merkel. Let's give a big final round of applause to Carmel Newman High School. Looking forward to supporting you next week in the CIS State. One, two, three, go, one, two, three. Good job, ladies. Can you cheer? Can you cheer? Yeah, yeah. Thank you.